Today, Kevin and I have three items we're gonna try for you from Duluth Trading Company. Uh, this brand is called Fine and Dandy uh, Premium Candy. This is the sea salt caramels and dark chocolate. I have dark chocolate peanut butter melts with sea salt and then dark chocolate candy cane melts. These um, on the package, they're marked, this one's marked $12.95. But I paid $9.07 each is what I paid just because um, I got a special 30% off when, when I uh, ordered these. That's why I decided to order them. So, let's see. Is there... Okay. I thought I... wonder if I could just slide this out. No, it's glued on. Ah. But, if you wanted to take no, that no, off... I glued on the bottom. How's wrong? Those are glued to the box. Okay, you do that. Okay, let's see. Uh, creamy, creamy vanilla caramels made with butter, pure vanilla, and heavy whipping cream are enrobed in velvety dark chocolate and sprinkled with sea salt. DuluthTrading.com. Uh, 12 servings in the container. One piece, 21 grams is 90 calories. Oh, are they individual wrapped? Mm -hmm. Oh, how cool. Okay. It's the size of a peppermint patty. Yeah, yeah it's very similar. It's you want me to this as, one? Yeah, it's not quite as thick, but it's, it's definitely the size of it. one. Plenty of salt on top. I like the salt. Mm -hmm. It's got a firmer chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's I mean, not, um, well, firmer chocolate, firmer caramel for a minute. It's well, but everything about it's firm. Mm -hmm. The um, it's not for me. Mm -hmm. I don't mind it. A little dark, but it's I don't good. care for the chocolate. Yeah, I really wish they put it in milk chocolate. The chocolate, um, I do really appreciate a lot of dark chocolates, mm -hmm. and I've said it in these videos. Um, but I do not like that dark chocolate. Yeah. It's just not my thing, which it's a little dark. It scares me because now all of these are in dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. But it um, it just took away everything to me from the caramel itself. It, did. it made it to where I didn't get that uh, sweet experience that I wanted because all I'm getting, I mean, I'm getting a really pungent bitterness from mm -hmm. that yeah, it's that dark. normally I don't get from uh, dark chocolate. Yeah, it's really more just a chewy dark chocolate than caramel at all. The caramel you really don't taste. Yeah, I, I, I did not care for that. Okay, so. Yeah, see that one's blue in the box. There we go. <laughs> I'll leave Kevin with the hard part, getting into that. Okay, I'm really excited about that. This is the one out of the three that I'm most excited for because it is dark chocolate peanut butter melts. And look how thick it looks on the, the front. It looks really thick. I hope they're really that thick. Um, with sea salt. So this says, rich dark chocolate, extra creamy peanut butter, and salt. Um, and distributed by Duluth Trading Company. The, it's in Mount Horeb, Wisconsin. Uh, there's five servings in the container, two pieces, 28 grams or 150 calories. Oh, yeah. it's like a box, it's a box of chocolate. And you only get one layer, so you get uh, okay. nine of them. You want half you want me to go for? Let um, me go with my own. That's right. Now that's completely different. That peanut butter is very peanut. Peanut butter. It's not bad though. I like the texture. It's very creamy. Mm -hmm. I still wish they'd put it in milk chocolate. You know what? I'm sure it's probably the same dark chocolate that was in the caramels. I don't get that bitterness at all. Well, that peanut butter is pretty strong. That peanut butter is very strong. The peanut butter reminds me, it, um, it's a really nice, very, like they said, extra creamy. 
I believe it. Yeah. It's like it's been whipped up for mm -hmm. a while. It reminds me, at Christmas some years, my mom used to make these Buckeyes. It reminds me of that Buckeye, that peanut butter in the center of the that Buckeye. That she used to make, not a traditional Buckeye. Traditional Buckeyes are very thick. No, yeah, it, it reminds like me that. of what she used to right. make, the, the peanut butter. Ones. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the homemade ones. And it was more peanut than peanut butter. Mm -hmm. But then again, it's very, very creamy. The texture is wonderful. Yeah. And that dark chocolate did not bother me at all. That no, much. it's definitely better. It's still a little dark. I still wish it was in milk chocolate, but because um, I think it would be better. But, mm -hmm. um, but the dark chocolate doesn't bother me either. I think it's good. And it has a great amount of salt. The salt mm -hmm. makes a difference. You do get the salt. Yeah. And it just adds to that whole experience. Um, I would totally get those again. Yeah, I would eat those and eat them. I would um, give those away as gifts, whatever. So, um, I will tell you, if they, um, I had made up my mind when I went there to order stuff, I thought, I'm going to order one of everything they have. Uh, because they're not known for, for food. And so, uh, you know, I knew they couldn't have that much. Uh, they do sell peanuts, but they're they're Belmont peanuts. They're like Belmont peanuts, but they put Duluth on them. But they're Belmont peanuts. We reviewed Belmont peanuts. That's why I didn't get them. Um, but the reason I'm telling you this is because if I had have seen anything in milk chocolate, I would have bought it. They didn't have any. This is what they had. We've done two uh, reviews now. This is our second review, and this was everything I saw on the website besides those peanuts. Uh, because I was willing to try it all. I immediately smelled the peppermint. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I wanted to try everything. I do wish they had had a milk chocolate version. These are dark chocolate candy cane melts. They don't look as dark, though, as the peanut butter ones. Cool and creamy dark chocolate melt with candy cane crunch topping. Two pieces, 150 calories. And again, you get nine. Mmm. No, those are solid. I don't need to cut them up. So well. I like it. Mm -hmm. I think it's really nice. Um, it doesn't melt nice on your tongue. It does. It has a nice uh, candy cane mm -hmm. flavor. Um, Which really helps offset the, the chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's fun. But it, there's a... Almost like a York peppermint patty kind of reminds mm -hmm. you of it a little bit. It's not quite, the mint's not quite as strong, but mm -hmm. it has that same chocolate peppermint vibe. Mm -hmm. Those would be excellent out of the freezer. You think so? Mm -hmm. I think it would be make them too hard. Because mm -hmm. they're already kind of hard to bite into. I think if you froze them, they'd be really hard. Um, I don't know, maybe not. They're, I, I understand what you're saying. They're not hard, but they are firm. Yeah, you have they're, to bite through them. Mm -hmm. They're not just like a cream. No. It's not like the peanut butter, which was just cream inside once you no. get through the chocolate. This is a firmer inside. No, it, yes. But it, it melts really, really fast. Yes, it does. It's much firmer, but it's a very, very smooth chocolate. Mm -hmm. I really do yeah. like that chocolate. So, my question is, what happened to the caramels? Why? Because it's different. You would think with dark chocolate on all of these, they would have been the, the same, and it's not. I promise you. The, the sea salt caramels are something that I think if off. they put the caramel in a hunk like that, mm -hmm. maybe it would have been stronger caramel, but instead it's but very, But it didn't very, taste right. Very it, didn't, it, it was literally bitter. Yeah, Kevin's going back. It's literally a bitter flavor, and the other things didn't taste like that. So I don't understand why would it be so much different in that. Mm. Are it still you, is though. It is. Okay, mm -hmm. see? Uh, so you, I'm glad we're trying it because now you know. I would not order those sea salt caramels. They're just... I think more of the dark chocolate comes through mm -hmm. is the issue. Mm -hmm. Whereas this, you're really tasting candy cane. Mm -hmm. And that you're really, you're really peanut tasting peanut butter. Yeah, um, that one I think the caramel is so thin. And the caramel, you get a little bit of the caramel sweetness, but most of it's just the flavor of the chocolate. Mm -hmm. And the chocolate is a dark chocolate, so that's what you taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do like the salt content. I do like the caramel texture. It's just I wish the caramel was a little bit stronger. Right. But then milk chocolate would have been perfect. Right. But for the most part, 
uh, between the last video and this video, we really, really enjoyed what we were able to get from Duluth. Um, I, I hope they do more of this stuff, uh, more, more of this chocolate. specialty food. As long as it doesn't just like the Belmont Peanuts have another name, you know, they put their name on, because I want to try things we haven't tried before. You know, I want to try new foods. Mm -hmm. um, I wish they would go into, I know the dark chocolate's everything they had pretty much. Um, I wish they'd gone into dark and milk varieties and white. of both. Do white too. White, oh, a white candy cane would be awesome. Yeah, because I would order everything. If if they did if they did the milk chocolate, if they did the white chocolate, maybe next year at Christmas time if they're coming out with this stuff again. Milk chocolate, um, peanut butter, that would be good too. Yeah, I would I would totally be willing to order from them again. They everything was shipped nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty it, quick too. Pretty quick. Yeah. So I mean, they didn't have any problems with them at all. Uh, you just kind of need to know what to order. Um, uh, these would make good gifts too because uh, I know it's Christmas time and I don't know if they sell these even throughout the year, but these are in nice boxes too. So like if you were to order them for somebody else, just know it's good quality stuff. Yep. Yeah, that's real nice. So I will have a close-up picture of these for you uh, at the end of the video and thanks for watching.